people on the boat, the crew plus the guests, it's a community for five days. There are meals to be taken together. They, we take showers together, we, we sleep on one floor. Even them, they feel like they're part of the Tao family for five days. And I think that's what also makes them happier in the end. Like it, it, it wasn't just a tour or that they've paid for because they went to this exotic place. No, it's camaraderie. They experience all that. We don't build and overdevelop, build big cottages that offer this creature comforts that you have from back home. But we built and designed huts that connect the traveler directly to that natural environment. So you're sleeping in an open-sided bamboo hut. It's just a simple curtain, no uh, walls. And you can basically fall to sleep with the ocean breeze and the sound of the waves. And it's a unique experience for the guests. After, after sunset and nightfall and there, everybody's enjoying um, dinner on the beach. And then if you walk a little bit away from the camp, uh, down by the seashore, look up, and there's a sky full of stars. Where you shower is exactly how they shower and bathe uh, in the islands, which is directly at the water source. And a menu full of uh, fresh food that is actually harvested, so you can really see see the um, from from the farm to the plate. from nose to tail, from the fishermen to, to being grilled just on the beach, just the freshest fish. Uh, we all talk about it and you hear about it, but, but you know, it's rare that you get a whole full five-day menu of, of, of that kind of incredibly uh, high-quality ingredients that are just, you're just eating the landscape as you're going along. It's the basicness of how we do things that I think contributes to this life-changing comments that we are getting. Like who would even thought that nowadays we survive without television, we survive without microwave. And when they go home, they're like, why do I even have this? This is the raw experience that everyone is looking for. Unmediated, unplanned, not fake for anyone to experience, but it's just our, the raw culture. What we offer, the island way, where we sleep, what we eat, what we do in our daily lives, this is what the travelers are wanting. You know, we invite you to see and experience our community. We invite you to taste our food. We invite you to really take part of what this culture is, the islander culture. We're in the middle of the ancient rice terraces. This is called the Pande, the rice paddies here. This is where I grew up, the village below the mountain. 
is where I spend my childhood. After 10 years of creating and developing this project in the islands, I think we made our mistakes and we created like a, a way on how we deal with tourism. And this is what we're bringing up north in a much more uh, sustainable way. And we want to do it here with a different community, a different culture, but sticking to the core idea of Tao. It's for the people, it's the local culture, it's whatever is here, the whatever available materials or knowledge, that's what we use. We decided to come and do a trekking project here where we invite travelers to explore the cultures of the mountain people. They have their rituals, they have their own food. By inviting travelers to come up here, it's also a way of making the locals aware that their culture is kind of special and uh, it's worth conserving. What is Tao Philippines? It's to experience the real Philippines, to experience the, the culture of, of Filipinos and to experience the people. The name Tao is about people, I suppose that's it. It's experience the people and the culture of the Philippines. I'm envisioning Tao 10 years from now to be an example of how to run tourism in a much sustainable way. It's used for conservation, it's used for education, it's used for pride of your culture. <laughs>